What's going on, my YouTube family? Sergeant Greybeard at Greybeard Gaming Group. Today is Thursday, October 29th, and as always, I hope this message finds you healthy and safe. In today's video, we're going to be showing you one of our favorite builds in the game right now. It's a combination of Ridgeway's Pride and Hunter's Fury, and the thing just shreds NPCs, and it's a lot of fun to use. Now, if you happen to be new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of our gaming family. And if you enjoyed this or found it helpful at all, take a quick second and hit that like button. It really does help us out. Finally, as most of you know, we have giveaways at our channel. And our current one is for an Xbox One S or a PlayStation 4 Pro. And all you need to do to enter is subscribe to our channel here or follow us on Twitter. Either way is fine. We will be announcing the winner next week on November 5th, and as I've said in every previous video, watching our content is not a requirement to win. Watch anything or, you know, just only watch the things here you may enjoy. That's why we give you the option of entering via Twitter. So with this build, I've tried a few different variations, and this one for me happens to be my favorite. However, as I say in all of my build videos, this is just a template. You really want to make this thing your own. Therefore, you may decide you may want to make certain changes to the build itself. However, focusing on the chess piece itself, the thing is awesome. It is a bit of a grind to get, but it is definitely worth it. As always, I like to start these videos off showing you actual gameplay footage. And like I said, now we're going to go to the build. And then at the end of that, we'll show you a little more footage showing you the build in action. The first thing we're going to start off with is a specialization. Now for me, I like to run Gunner because you get that armor on kill, and when you're playing solo, that really comes in handy. However, you can also run Firewall, which gives you some extra shield bonus, as well as a damage bonus. Now because this is a Hunter's Fury build, our primary weapon is an SMG. Now I've chosen this one because it's maxed out, but most importantly, it has the Sadist talent. And as you can see, it says deal 20% weapon damage to bleeding enemies. After 4 kills, applies bleed to the next enemy you hit. And with this chest piece, all you're doing is making NPCs bleed. Now I would prefer to have the Sadist talent on a different SMG, but this is by far the best one I have for this build. I'm running the mop shotgun as my secondary weapon, the handgun I don't really use as well, but now we'll focus on the build itself. You can see I'm running four Hunter's Fury, one Walker and Harris, and obviously the Ridgeway's Pride. A quick recap with the Hunter's Fury gear set. It is still, in my opinion, one of the best ones in the game. You get that shotgun bonus, you get that SMG bonus, the armor on kill, health on kill, and with the talent Apex Predator, that's the one, in my opinion, that helps out the most. And that's because this gear set is designed for close quarters combat, so like I said, when you put all these things together, you are just shredding NPCs. Now moving on to the chess piece itself, obviously it's Ridgeway's Pride, it has the talent Bleeding Edge. Shooting enemies within 15 meters applies bleed to the target. Repair 3 through 48% of your armor per second for every enemy that is bleeding within 15 meters. And as I mentioned a moment ago, because you're running Hunter's Fury and you are always within 15 meters of the NPCs that you kill, typically you're always having these bonuses running. Next, I'm just going to quickly go over all of the other pieces of the Hunter's Fury. We have the holster, we have knee pads, and again, on these, I'm just running crit hit chance, crit hit damage. We also have the gloves, again, crit hit damage there. Now with the backpack, this is another one of those items you do have options. I'm running Walker and Harris because it has the talent Wicked on it, and this happens to be one of my best backpacks that has that talent. You can see with this talent, it says applying a status effect gives you 18% weapon damage for 20 seconds. And, you know, with this build, you're always applying a status effect, so you're always getting that, you know, weapon bonus. Finally, in regards to the skills, I'm running the Crusader Shield in case things get sideways. I prefer having that, and I also like running the Assault Drone because it does work as a great distraction for NPCs. And as we wrap up this video, I want to take a minute and go over a few things that I recommend players do when they're trying out a new build. Now, this is really geared towards new players, beginners, things like that, so this may be things you know, but they are some tips that can help out. The first thing I recommend is when you're trying out something new, go to a mission or a control point that you're comfortable with. One that you know how the NPCs spawn, so that way you're focused on the damage itself, not where everyone's coming from. 
The next recommendation I have is really try different ways to design this build. You know, as I said at the beginning of the video, this is just a template. And you will see other build videos like this out there that may run, you know, a few different variations. One of the things I make sure I mention in every build video is that there is no one way to run a build. People can say, oh, it's just this. It, it, it doesn't work that way. It has to do with your game style. So once you find something that works, that's what you need to stick with. One simple example of that has to do with, you know, for instance, the specialization. Like I said, I like running gunner because I want to have that armor and kill. A lot of other players run firewall because they just, they just play differently. And for them, they don't need that extra armor. So to really sum it all up, you know, just focus on designing something that enhances your gameplay. One mistake I used to make is I would see certain builds online and I'll be like, dude, I want to do that. And I'd make a carbon copy of it and I could not do what I was watching, you know, the person do on the video. So again, make it your own, enjoy the gameplay, have fun with it. And yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video, my friends. For those of you who may have questions on how to get Ridgeway's Pride, we did a video last week, so what I'll do is leave a link for the video in the description below. There's about another minute of gameplay, I'll let that play out, but as always, I want to take a moment and thank you all for the continued support. You guys are awesome. As I mentioned before, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to be a part of what we're doing here. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button, but most importantly, Take care, be kind, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. will make it a lot harder for them to coordinate their troops and spread misinformation. All communications coming in and out of the building will be controlled from the production studio on the top floor. So you'll need to find it and secure it. Come out and finish this! 